So here's something interesting. Uh, welcome back to the big board. Uh, something interesting. Those of you that watch some or all or a few of the videos that I do, um, read the blog, you might look at some of the games I play and go, okay, you know, why has he chosen that or whatever the case may be? And you see all the other games I have and you wonder why I haven't got to them. Sometimes when, you, when I play a game, I, I really like to understand how the game works and, I, and I, I like to jump in and play if I can and work it, but work it out and make sure that whatever I'm doing, I'm not making massive mistakes. And I've played you know, a reasonable amount of this system. This is the tactical combat system and this is the Mantacow, Mantanacow uh, module. Um, and, you know, when you haven't played a game for a while, you come back to it, you might skim through the rules or look at some of the summaries you may have made or look at the summaries that other people have made and look at the charts and go, yeah, I got it, and off you go. And when you're playing, then you might make a few mistakes and that's okay. And as long as it's in the grand scheme of things and it's not going to thwart the the general theme or, or uh, progress of either side in the game, you can kind of live with it. And one thing that I have done with this particular title, and uh, and I think it's uh, reasonably significant, and I've already gone and made some adjustments, and we'll kind of carry on from there, but it's kind of an argy-bargy way to fix it, uh, is uh, Battalion Morale. And, can't see there they are these little guys right here just past the shiny bit see that the third company of the first battalion of the fourth regiment of the second division of the Japanese so uh whoa hey that was lucky did that scare you I scared the crap out of me it's Friday the 13th that's why that happened I'm telling you anyway <laughs> I've got four units here I lose a morale point, one, two, three. Three morale points. And this is a third of a morale point. And once I get two more of these kind of uh, sub five step units, I will lose an additional morale point for each of these guys who have to do a morale check in a given turn. So I need to add three to the die roll. No, it's not the die roll. Three to the morale rating of the Japanese units. And I could not work out why in the blue blazes over here I was getting my ass kicked so badly. That's the Americans. And it's because not only was I uh, forgetting to add that three, so this would be a morale check six. See that three there? Uh, and, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to try and use my you know I am uncomfortable using these tweezers with my right hand but uh, this guy goes underneath this guy okay the so these guys here should have been taking much higher morale checks and they were of course passing all of them and we can't go back in time and fix the morale checks but we can go uh, take a look at some of the units that I've had to transition out because they got the snot kicked out of them. And basically what I'm going to do is give everybody here, well not everybody, but most of these units back one step. And uh, if they were suppressed, I'm going to unsuppress them because I'm assuming that most of these guys would have been suppressed. And here's why. Because when we look at this, and this is called uh, corrective medicine, Kevin's corrective medicine methodology. Uh, on a morale, let me see if I can not knock this all over the place. You may not recognize this fire charts because it's from uh, a friend of mine's revised rules. Same, same charts, just formatted differently. If you look at six and look at three, and in fact, those guys are three minus one for protective. So on a morale check where there would be no effect, 11 to 46 on the two, but on a six, it's 11 to 21. That's a huge difference. We go down to where the more probable, you know, here to be suppressed, 51 to 64. If I go across to six, 22 to 51. So all of the gunfire, artillery, and things that have occurred in the last two or three turns should have been suppressing Japanese units more than likely. 
uh, because I was not rolling lots of 20s and 11s and 15s and things like that. So that's a big difference. So we're going to give the, uh, the US a little bit of a break and we're going to give them back some points, some steps that they might not have otherwise lost uh, when they closed to, uh, to within you know, spotting range here so that these guys, uh, these guys here, for instance, moved in. These chaps should have been suppressed from the artillery that was fired in there recently. I think that sounds fair and reasonable. I'm playing solo, so that's how I'm going to roll. Anyway, important safety tip. Review your morale rules on detailed tactical systems that involve morale. Very important. Uh, the other thing I also was also missing here is that you, you add, for every step you lose, you've got to add one to the morale rating as well, which makes perfect sense. Completely logical. I just completely failed to uh, consider that. And indeed, I didn't do that for the uh, Japanese, uh, for the American side either, for the Marines. A uh, little less of a problem for them uh, because they have not been facing as many suppressions. Uh, they, they did take a bit of a beating over here. But the, the plan, if you recall my last video where I was ranting against the dice, uh, I had attempted to suppress all these guys and failed with my artillery and then closed in and built some big some big stacks and uh, tried to close in here and get some gunfire on these guys and of course uh, failed so uh, I then just went tally ho and charged in and that didn't work out very well either all right enough of that thought I'd share that with you I like to play games correctly and at some point, sometimes when you do make a, a get what may potentially be a game-changing mistake, you need to just do your best to address it. And I kind of, I think this is uh, the best I can do in the given circumstances. All right, later.